I'm fairly certain social media is making us all retarded. You should reclassify Facebook to what it is, an anti-social network. Kinda well, it's my fault. And yesterday, Twitter went full retard. I have joined ISIS, guys. I didn't think it was that big a deal, but a lot of people seem to think so. Different news outlets posted about this, and you might be wondering why. Why did PewDiePie join ISIS? How could he do that? I thought he was just a YouTuber from Sweden. How could he do this? How can he betray us like this? ISIS. That doesn't make any sense. Well, let me explain, damn it. Let's start from the beginning. You know Verified on Twitter? That little blue check mark that people have? Which people seem to use as some form of status symbol now. You got the blue check mark. You're fucking cool, alright? People write shit about it in their bio being like, It's not a big deal. I am verified, but I don't really know why. <laughs> I know why. I'm fucking- <laughs> I'm the fucking coolest bitch ever. Oh, this verified tick mark? Pff, not a big deal. If you're wondering why I'm verified, I don't know. I don't really know. I honestly, like, what did I do? That tick doesn't mean that I'm important. Yes, it fucking does. It just means I'm me. Now, why do people want this check mark? I don't know. If anyone with the blue check mark interact with you in any way possible, you get a notification on your phone. So let's say Taylor Swift tweets at me. I'll get a notification about it. Now, a lot of people do it. What they do is they'll just start following you, hoping that you will follow back. If you follow more people, it basically means that you get recommended to be followed by other people. Twitter has this who to follow suggestions. If you follow a lot of people, you're likely to show up. I'll show you some experts. We have Melissa Joan Hart. You remember Sabrina the Teenage Witch? She follows 200,000 people. She follows me for some reason. I'm sure she's a big fan. 200 fucking thousand times she clicked follow. Oh, it get worse. Bart Baker, 570,000 following. You're following five, you're following almost more people than follows you. What the fuck? Do you have someone hired, like a little sweatshop person to just click follow for you? I don't understand. Okay, you know what, fine. You know, it's not hurting anyone. I don't care. But one thing that I think is a little funny, it's like when you follow 451,000 people, you're a YouTuber, but you make it your business to make sure that you don't follow PewDiePie. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna follow a half a million people, but PewDiePie, fuck that guy, not gonna follow that guy. <laughs> okay, this video is getting sidetracked. Let me get back to my point. I think we can all agree that this is just fucking annoying. Well, it gets worse. There's people that will follow you, and then they will unfollow you, and then they'll follow you again, and then they'll unfollow you, and then they'll follow you again, so you keep getting notifications, they hope that you will notice you, and follow back. Well, guess not? No, I see the notifications, I'm not gonna follow back. Why is this a thing? I don't know how this started, but people, basically, I'll see this in my notifications. Ina, I liked a tweet you were mentioned. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, so she liked a fan post. She doesn't even follow me! Why the fuck would you like a fan tweet? Why would you do- you're blocked, okay? Now, with verification process being just fucking annoying, I decided to unverify myself. Yes, it is possible. Now, I did this yesterday as a joke. It was really funny because you can see a lot of people joined in. I added the globe instead and that's my new- that's the real notification from now on. But then, America woke up. <laughs> That's when shit got stupid. So this fake, obviously fake, website called Sky News, which ironically enough is not verified as well. So everyone was wondering, why the fuck did he unverify himself? Everyone who didn't understand the joke. And wanting a reason so badly, they would believe anything. So Sky News posted, Popular YouTuber PewDiePie unverified due to suspected relations with ISIS. Seems legit, right? You click on the news story, oh it just goes to... It just goes to a random article. That's great. That would that would, that would have taken anyone like what half a second. So people started believing this that I join ISIS. What the fuck are you doing? Seriously, what, what the, the fuck, fuck are, you, are doing? you doing? And ironically enough, this Sky News uh, is obviously a fake and it's not verified. So it really proves the point how verified really 
makes all the difference. It's really a effective system to distinguish the fake accounts from the real ones. Because clearly, no one believe, no one, everyone saw that this was not verified, and they thought to themselves, "Wow, that is not verified." This article about PewDiePie joining ISIS that just can't be real because it's not a verified account, and I can see that because it doesn't have the verified tick mark. Clearly, it doesn't even fucking work. Seeing how stupid this was, I tweeted a joke saying me and Jack joined ISIS, which is why we both got unverified. And uh, everyone just started freaking out. So dumb. Why am I here? Mashable posted about it. People are freaking out. They even reached out to Jack, who had literally nothing to do with it. Could you comment about this story about PewDiePie joining ISIS? Man, being a journalist must really be a fulfilling work. I think we can summarize this entire video as in does this shit fucking matter? Absolutely not. Now in I invite you to join and be globified as I like to call it, which by the way is way fucking cooler than verified. Thank you very much. I don't know why I got globified or who I am honestly. I still don't know. Guys, my globified tick it doesn't mean I'm important. It just means I'm me. Now I invite you to become globified as well. Really what the globe means is my ranking in ISIS. You start off with the globe and then you could potentially move up to the blue flower thing. And if you're real lucky, you can have the popcorn.